Hello students, once again I Professor PM Vibhute welcomes you to the next session of Basic Electrical and Electronics Engineering. We are discussing about a uh, topic known as a DC circuit and in today's session I am going to introduce you with the concept of network terminology and the concept of different type of networks means classification of a network. Now network terminology, what is the network terminology means what are the different types of words that has been used in electrical engineering with respect to network and what is definition of those words. For example, what is the terminology known as an electrical network? See, the definition of electrical network is nothing but it is a connection of different electrical component along with supply or number of electrical element, number of electrical element or component connected together form something known as a electrical network. You can see that this particular figure show represent one such a network because number of component like three resistance and two power supplies are connected together. So this is an electrical network. So electrical network again I am defining it as a it is nothing but a combination or interconnection of different electrical element or electrical component. Then next definition is node and junction. Node is nothing but or uh, this there are two nodes in this particular figure. Node is B and D. Where two or rather three and more than three branches connected together again for that we need to understand the concept of branch branch is nothing but connecting two junction points together we can see that between a and b there is one particular branch known as a r similarly between a and e there is another branch with the name e there is another branch between e and d and there is no component connected between e and d rather there is a direct branch so this is the concept of a branch and node are nothing but when number of or three or more than three branches are connected together known as a node whereas two or more than two uh, junctions or two component connected together forms a junction so all uh, all nodes are junctions but all junctions are not node so this is the definition of a node and junction then there is a concept of a loop and mesh loop is nothing but you can see that a b d e this is one loop when you are the because whenever i write it it start from a to b then d to e back to a you can see that it is going back to a so that's why this is nothing but one complete closed loop similarly there are three different possible loops in the circuit a b d e another possible loop is b c then f d back to b that is nothing but this loop going from b to c then f then d and back to b and last possible loop in this particular circuit is a b c f d e back to a that is nothing but an outer loop a b c f d e back to a so this is nothing but there are three possible loops in this particular circuit and these are the loops but there is another concept known as a mesh there is a slight difference between mesh and loop so loop are nothing but these are the loop but mesh is nothing but when there are more than uh, two possible uh, we can say loops for example here there is only one mesh that is nothing but this last one is a mesh whereas these two are loops so all loops uh, are rather all mesh are loop but all loops are not mesh so this is what another definition known as a loop and mesh then there is a concept of open circuit and short circuit for example if i have a register like this and if I have these two terminal, if there is nothing connected across these two particular terminal, then we can consider this as an open circuit. For example, you have an electric board at your home where we used to connect our component. But whenever we don't connect anything across these two points, then these two points are considered as an open circuit. Whereas what is short circuit? Whenever we connect these two points together with a direct line, then that is known as a short circuit. When you're, for example, in this circuit, if I connect A to B, a line between A to B, then A to B, this particular line which I ported over here will short R1. So now current will not go through R1, rather it will go through this bypass line provided over here because that line have a less resistance than that of resistance R1. So these are the different uh, network terminology. Again, this is electrical network terminology. Once again, I am revising. Electrical network are nothing but number of component connected together. Nodes are nothing but when you're three or more than three branches connected together it forms a node then junctions are nothing but though point where there are two or more than two uh, component or uh, element connected together then loop loop are nothing but closed path where current can flow where starting and ending point of that particular path is supposed to be same mesh is nothing but uh, more than one loop uh, with uh, we can say common element in it is known as a mesh for example in this circuit a b c d e 
uh, D E back to A. This is an outer loop is nothing but a mesh because it had a multiple possible loops inside it. So that is nothing but a mesh. Then we discussed about concept of open circuit. That is nothing but when a load is not connected or when your component is not connected at a, across any two particular point, then that is known as an open circuit. And whenever we connect a line between those two points of resistance zero ohm, then it is nothing but a short circuit. Now there are different types of element in electrical circuit. For example, linear element and non-linear element. Now, as the medical linear element, what are those linear element? See, one such example of linear element is R. If I draw a graph of voltage and current across a resistor, we already know Ohm's law, that is nothing but V is equal to IR. So, if R remains constant, V is directly proportional to R. In fact, if I compare it with the formula of a line, that is Y is equal to MX plus C. This is the formula of a line. Where C is 0, if I consider plus 0, means C, constant value is 0, R represent M, that is nothing but slope. I represent X and V represent Y. So, this is nothing but equation of line only. So, if I draw a voltage uh, or we can say graph of voltage versus current in case of a resistor, then that will be a straight line going through 0. That's why resistor is a one of the linear element. But what are the non-linear element? One such example of non-linear element is a diode. Because inside a diode, if I draw a graph of a diode, it is something like this. This is an exponential curve. <coughs> And it is not in line, that's why diode is a non-linear element. Now, next example or next type of element are nothing or uh, are nothing but bilinear and unilinear linear, uh, sorry, bilateral and unilateral element. Bilateral or element are nothing but where direction of current doesn't matter. For example, in case of register, if I current flows through from this particular terminal to this terminal, the voltage produced across resistance is same as that of whenever current flow in opposite direction. Means whenever direction of current, lateral is nothing but a direction. Lateral is a word used for direction. Bilateral means the direction of current in both direction are same. Unilateral means direction of current in one direction only. Again, example of a unilateral is a diode. Diode can allow a current to flow in a forward direction, but in reverse direction, it blocks a current. That's why the symbol of diode look like an arrow going from one into another because it don't allow a current flow from cathode towards an anode. So diode is an example of a unilateral element. The next type of element is nothing but active element and passive element. One which produce or provide an energy is known as an active element for example a voltage source or a battery it is an active element a current source is an active element a ac power supply is an active element the battery inside your mobile phone is an active element the charger is an active element but passive is nothing but one who consumes energy for example a resistor a capacitor a inductor these are the element which consumes energy that's why these are the passive element so this is nothing but active element and passive element now based on that whether this is a type of component present in the network or not, based on that, there are different type of network. For example, linear network and non-linear network. So, very simple to understand and very simple to define. If all the element in a network, we already discussed what is network, it is nothing but number of electrical components connected together. So, when your all components are li linear in nature, then that particular electrical network is linear network. But whereas, even a single component or even a single element in that network, if it is non-linear, for example, imagine if a network consists of 1000 components and there is only one register and or rather there is only one diode and all other are registers still that particular network will be done become a non-linear network so non-linear network are nothing but a network which have at least one non-linear element in it whereas in case of linear network all elements are linear whereas same is the case with the bilinear and uh, bilateral and unilateral network as name indicate even your all component in a circuit are bilateral then that network is known as a bilateral network if even a single component in that network is not a bilateral or if it is unilateral then that network is known as a unilateral lateral uh, network now if your network consists of even a single power supply even a single current source or voltage source then that particular network is known as a active network and in if in your network there is no power supply at all means there is no current source voltage source or power source then that particular network is known as passive network so this is a classification of networks again there are six different way linear network non-linear network bilateral network unilateral network active network and passive network based on which type of element are present in a circuit now in next session we will discuss about few more concepts related to electrical engineering till then please be safe and enjoy this session thank you